Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going, to, we're going to be looking at setting up for the web. This tutorial assumes you have done Cocos 2D JS setup uh, that was covered in the past few tutorials. Though I am doing this on a Mac, the steps are the same for Windows apart from using the terminal you would use command prompt on Windows. There are two methods for generating a project for the web. The first being the complete project which is what we have generated in the previous tutorials. Uh, which contains the website and the app site for iOS, Android, etc. The second option generates the website only. We will cover both of these methods and how to run without specifically installing a website server such as XAMP. So let's just open up terminal. So to generate a project, a full project, you do cocos new. I'm going to call it full game dash p, then you pack your name persona dot full game dash l language is js dash d. I'm going to put my desktop as the directory to generate my project. Okie dokie, so we have a complete project in which we can gener uh, run a web game and a mobile game and a desktop game mm. and so forth, so basically native and web. The way to generate a web only game is to use the same command essentially, new um, put web only dash p sonar dash web only dash l j s for the language dash d for slash users for slash sonar systems for slash desktop and then instead of clicking enter you do dash dash no dash native which removes all the app and the desktop side so if you click enter now I think it's generated a lot quicker. It's a lot faster as well. I'm uh, just wondering where it's gone. Oh, there it is. You, you may only need a web game, so generating a full project will be a waste of time and space. Let's compare the size of these projects. The web only. Get yeah, info. It's 5.4 megabyte. Uh, a, a default project is obviously will increase when you add more resources. Get info for the full project. 463.9 megabyte. That is a huge increase. So if you only want to put it on the web, you have no interest in making it native for devices, then just use the web only version because you'll save a lot of space and you'll save a lot of time when uh, compiling and just doing a lot of moving around and so forth. Thing to note, unlike the iOS and Android versions, uh, you don't need to compile it, you can just run it directly and to run it, you do cd space and then you go to your web directory and you do cocos run you don't need to put dash p and then specify web you would need to do that if you had if you were doing it from the full game but because we're just doing it from the web version you can only run it on a web browser so we're going to run it in this web browser resource this so you can fully see it And there we go, we have our project running in our web browser, which is really, really cool. And we didn't have to install or set up an exam server or anything like that to end it. In the server, we just do control C, and that is now ended. A little tip if you try to run your game and it says that the port is already in use in the terminal, sometimes it may say that, uh, which will most likely be the port 8000, then you need to run these commands lsof dash i colon 8000 or whatever your port is or whatever port it um, said was already running actually we'll run it that's fine I'm going to open up a new terminal and in here we're going to run the ls of dash i command and now what you'll get is a bunch of information Hmm. 
Just moaning about something. Okay, yeah, the, you need to make sure there's no space between the number and the colon. And then what you do, what happens, is you get some information about what process is using it. And we've got process ID 2005. And even though Cocos might be using it, sometimes it's still locked and you can't access it. So an easy way to unlock it is to kill dash 9. And then what your process ID, which is 2005. And what you'll notice is when I click enter, this has ended with the signal 9 because we've explicitly cancelled it. So this is just a little tip if you do ever have an error saying can't unlock the port or use it. Now we have run our application, let's go over what we have to work with. So go to our desktop. But only we have our res folder where we have all our images, we'll have audio and any other animation files or anything like that. And we have source, which is the meat of our application. The app.js is what you saw right here. Resource.js is just set up so you can, let's show you, assign keywords to basically assets and just use those keywords wherever you want throughout your application. And finally, the main.js won't be used very often, but it will be used for stuff usually at the start of development of a project, set up the project and set up the resolution and so forth. That is it for this tutorial. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at multi-resolution support. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.